We started on September 10th, and it's now December 7th. We're three projects in. We've done aggregation. We've done folding. We've done laser cutting. We've done band sawing. And now we're seeing these final ideas. Public, uh, our visitors, etc. please wander around, talk to the students, see what they have to offer, and share their ideas because this is about a celebration. A celebration of a really hard work semester. So on the Lotus Effect, you see water moving across a hydrophobic surface in perfectly spherical beads. So if I just take this dropper of colored water and just gently release it, you see beautiful spirals forming on a hydrophobic surface. Okay. Hi, I'm Lisa and I'm from Team Existence. And our exhibit is called The Beehive. The main feature of our exhibit is actually this interactive wall. So this wall represents a honeycomb and each cell, each unit here, represents one cell in the honeycomb. So what happens with it is that there is actually a computer model behind this wall. So it controls the contents of each cell and users can also interact with the wall to say like if I touch this cell, it will, this gesture will be interpreted as adding pollen to that cell in the in that comb. My favourite part of this module was actually the prototyping phase because we got to get our hands dirty, play with all the electronics and programming. So our group is a bit different because like, it turns out that the people doing the programming and electronics are the girls, whereas the people doing the handicrafts are actually the guys. Our project is called Magnet's Calligraphy. This is our first prototype of this project. This is actually ferrofluid inside and this have the magnet inside. Uh, this fluid will interact with this magnet. Hi, uh, my name is Leon and I'm from Co-op Class 12F05. As you can see, our exhibit is called Faba, which actually means colour in Slovak. We were inspired by the works of Andy Warhol, which involves the mixing of different colours together and his parents for Slovak. This aspect of the exhibit aims to show the additive property of colour mixing through uh, colour wheels. We were actually inspired by the Gardens by the Bay, the super trees, and we wanted to allow the visitors to walk through and experience the mixing of colours. So by stepping on the foot pedal, they will be, they will be able to activate the colour wheels. We are from the team ratio. We did this exhibit called Botechnica. Botechnica basically means botany plus technology. We are able to create um, uh, circuits and uh, we're using servo motors to power our exhibits. Um, this is definitely enriching for a student like me who comes from JC, which do not have any experience except academic um, knowledge. As I, as I walked into the exhibit, I stepped onto the floorboard. The flowers opened up above me. The lights were light up and respond to my movement. Hi, uh, my name is Anne from Team D. So for our exhibit, visitors will get to ex get to fly these aerial vehicles which we call air surfers through the air. We call them air surfers because they float through the air gracefully. For this prototype, we picked a smooth graceful one to prototype because it looks very nice moving through the air, almost like a bird. And also you see that it's not really pulling against the string because it's neutrally buoyant. So the amount of air it displaces, the weight of the air displaces, is equal to the weight of the helium balloon. So it's really not really rising or sinking. And this is quite unique because not many things are naturally, neutrally buoyant in real life. What you see here is like the concept of a Rubens tube. The gas comes from one side and then the music will come from the other side. And because of the vibration of the air particles, um, it will cause a sine wave to appear on the fire. Uh, my name is Chua Si Han. The Music Makers is, is an exhibit that we use the Kinect technology to be able to import uh, people into a virtual environment. While doing this, they are actually making music spontaneously. They are any hand movement will be able to create music and creating a kind of a uh, very nice melody. So through this project, we are essentially using the user's consciousness to be able to create music spontaneously and as a result, uh, inspiring their curiosity about the science, perhaps the science behind music.